Welcome to Air, the sunny seaside town bustling with shoppers, enjoying the amazing beaches, scenery, and shops. Ayrshire's number one hotspot for entertainment and shopping. Spend an afternoon at the many shopping centers, such as the Kyle Center or Aaron Mall, or enjoy a night at Air Odeon Cinema with your friends. Travel and accommodation is effortless, with the station hotel being the hub of the town. You'll just want to come back. <laughs> Welcome to air, the reality. There is no effortless travel. There is no station hotel. There is no cinema. No shopping malls. Nothing. This is what remains of Air Odin Cinema. It closed in June 2023. Although there could be light at the end of the tunnel for this cinema. In August this year, it was announced that Merlin Cinemas had acquired Aerodine, with the goal of a refresh and rebrand of the cinema and a new name, the Astoria Air. I remember watching films in here and sometimes at night somebody would enter the back of the cinema through an entrance here and get in without pain. I don't know if it's maybe one of those doors up there or where it happened but <laughs> groups of kids coming in to see a film they weren't an age for would sneak in. I'm not sure what door it was as I said there but So this is part of his entertainment history going, just lying abandoned and desolate. Not good. I think one of the first films I've seen at Aerodine was Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Then in 1982, E.T., seen quite a few James Bond films here. I've seen Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones and uh, Last Crusade. In 1985, Rocky IV. The, the cinema outside, there was a queue of kids and adults that just basically encircled this cinema. It was amazing. And as you can see in the background there also, the cherry picker, the air station hotel, the remains of it as well. This is a hub of air. If you're coming off a train in air, well, not at the minute, but if you were, this is what you see. If this station hotel wasn't directly part of the complex of air station, then we'd see this monstrosity of a damaged building. The logistics of this is incredible, it's just where it is, it's completely blocked the top of the town off. And if it was somewhere else in there, there may have been hope for it. But since it's the dynamics and logistics where it is, then other businesses are going to suffer. It's come towards Christmas time here, and this is here. This shouldn't be like this at all. This used to be the council buildings next to the cinema, so at least they've done something positive for this, but it just doesn't sit right. This lovely wee green, Modernised. Then you've got the, the sites there. Great for tourists, eh? Mm -hmm. Aerodine opened in 1938 with the prisoner of Zender. Different world back then. Here was a lot different. And hopefully, the new owners, Merlin Cinemas, if they still own it, if the, if the takeover even happened, then they'll bring something new. This could possibly open back up again. But it remains to be seen. Coming soon? Maybe. Maybe not. The Aaron Mall finally closed in February 2019 with the shutters going down on Hurston's. Aaron Mall closed down February 
This is the buildings and car park at the back of the Adam Mall complex. Many years ago this was bustling and packed with shoppers. We walk around here, see what you can see, it's all closed off, yeah, just stay at this. It's part of the Iron Mall, closed 2019, with Hurston's the last shop to shut around February 2019 I think. This year in 2023, vandals have broke into the Iron Mall and tried to set it on fire, so this kind of abandoned structure still remains, left to rot with other buildings in there. Protected by profile. House designer rooms, used to be a pet shop here years ago. Iron mongers. Yeah, I've got a state of it now. Abandoned urban. An old seat, a fire extinguisher. Security camera hanging down. The Kyle Centre was a flagship shopping centre in Ayr and opened in 1988. It housed many brands such as Top Shop, River Island, Top Man, CNA and many many more. The adverts for energy fitness still remain on the Kyle Centre windows. It never happened. The shutters came down on the Kell Centre at the end of 2020. Although the Instagram page for Energy Fitness still exists. A toilet sign overlooks the Kell Centre from the shutters of Argos. Abandoned cafes litter Carrick Street. This street's a sight for sore eyes. A mess and an abandoned shell. This is King Street, the former police station, opened 1975, closed May 2023. It's been left boarded and abandoned. Comment by Callum Steele, the General Secretary of the Scottish Police Federation, told a Holyrood meeting the building's probably carved out of asbestos. This is a general belief given the amount of asbestos in the building. This rundown building required an upgrade and modernisation. It never happened. Babylon Nightclub closed sometime in the early 2000s. It originally opened in 1932 as the Orient Cinema. It was designed by Albert Gardner. The auditorium went under modification in 1954 when Cinemascope was installed. It finally closed as a cinema in 1983 
and then became a top flight bingo club. Eventually, the bingo hall closed its doors, then sometime around 1998, the nightclub Babylon opened its doors. As a nightclub, it did have its work cut out for it. It was competing against hot spots like the Bobby Jones and Club de Mar. However, it was unique. It did provide transport for the clubbers in the form of a bus called the Babylon Bus. This is the former Air Primary Grammar School, built in 1909. Went and sale with South Ayrshire Council, 2021. I believe it's been bought by the Coffrey family, with the plans to turn it to something a bit different. So if it's not, it's just got another abandoned building in there, lying to ruin. Looks a cracking design, it's a shame for these buildings to be left to rot. Yeah, the old grammar school. Maybe there's some hope for this one yet. Fingers crossed. This is Homestead House. Construction started in 1856, completed 1857. That was sold by South Ayrshire Council in 2016. Homestead House. It's part of the collection of abandoned premises. At the top end of here. I was going to say it's a bit like the Bermuda Triangle without a triangle. Some trash windows up there, boards over the windows as well, they've been smashed. It's in perfect proximity to the station itself, <laughs> you can get your view from here, one abandoned building to the next. Go by there. There's a wee security camera up there. I wonder if it's working. Smile. So this place was built in 1857. It was constructed as a welfare home in 70 rooms. It's a category B listed building now. And it was purchased by James Aiken Associates on behalf of Homestead House. It's Sunday the 28th of May 2023 and several youths will set fire to the station hotel. This time, the fire and damage was minimal. It's Monday the 25th of September 2023. Air and its station hotel has finally reached its crescendo.
with the same individuals once again breaking in and setting fire to the tail. This time though, the damage was catastrophic. On Friday the 20th of June 2018, a dangerous building notice was issued against the hotel. This was a defining moment in the hotel and station's history, as the businesses who operated within the concourse were told to close and exit the building with immediate effect. The hotel was then entombed and wrapped in scaffolding. Mr Ung, the Malaysian absentee owner, finally had brought the station hotel to its knees. What remains now of the hotel is an abandoned shell with the scaffolding slowly being taken down and the broken sandstone exterior is being removed section by section. Finally, when removed, could this pave way to a new transport hub, a modernised bus and train station. Finally it's coming down, the whole south wall is now gone. This is December. Nothing much left to this area. Club 30, also known as the Bobby Jones, was destroyed by fire in 2005. The abandoned building to the rear of this entrance is now an overgrown forest untouched for nearly 20 years. Mr. Nail closed for years, before that was Kandu, and before that was Dante's. This place has been shut down for a long time. It's like abandoned. Waterfront restaurant closed down a number of years ago. Still lying empty. Still for sale sign on it. Shepherd Commercial. Tamfest, Ayrshire's premier Halloween festival, attracted thousands over the years to the streets of Ayr, ending with the spectacular Day of the Deed parade finale. Spectacular floats and costumes paraded down Ayr High Street. There were bands, live entertainment, face painting stalls in every corner of the High Street. That is, until now, A stripped and watered down version of this annual Halloween event took place at the bottom of Air High Street around the Cutty Sark Centre. There were entertainers and performers on display, but there's no stalls, no parade, and no floats. A scaled down event in comparison to previous years. It's as if all the funds for this annual event had been spent on the air show. Air High Street. Right, Tam Fest a few years ago, this be packed, but it's obviously not now. Spent too much in the air show, maybe. It's, it's absolutely dead. Ah, it's no disrespect to the performers, were great. They were actually fantastic, but the actual uh, the whole event by organised by the council here is a disgrace. They set the standards a number of years ago for this, but now it's just poor. Empty. Abandoned. It's not all bad news though, there's hope, light at the end of the tunnel. According to recent news articles, 
Ayrstown Centre is in line for a huge £20 million funding boost, thanks to news of a major cash injection in Ayrshire from the UK government. So, if this is true and accurate, then maybe Ayr can once again become the vibrant seaside town it once was, with a new transport hub, a revitalised high street, and a continuation of all the events that attract hundreds of thousands of people to Ayr every year. Surely, it was worth it. <laughs>